Ladies and gentlemen, the Critics Hub. Let's now talk about Red Cat Ramen, episode 10. <laughs> uh, so far in this, an uh, in this anime's run, it's been quite uh, entertaining, empowering, but uh, we'll only be talking about this episode. So, let's give it a go. Face! Are you facing up? Uh, very... Very is an understatement. Um, hallmark. Slice of life. Do I have complaints? Wala. Um, I have absolutely no right to complain about this episode. Multi-story format nga. Pero, um, it didn't feel that way because of the pacing. Although, but uh, technically, uh, it is a multi-story uh, multi episode because there's uh, a definite break. Eh. Uh, there, there, there's a hard break in, uh, in between stories. So, but uh, hallmark na hallmark na uh, pang slice of life yung pacing. Eh. You would enjoy every sequence in this episode. Uh, yeah, because it had a really chill pacing, uh, that is, uh, that is, um, ho that is the hallmark uh, of a slice of life anime. Uh, this, this, uh, this anime is no different. Okay, hindi siya talaga nagkukuna sa ganitong klasing pacing. And uh, knowing that it it follows a multi-story format per episode, so san pa kayo? No one. Hey, okay? I repeat. No one should complain about the pacing of this episode. Okay? Um, Hallmark slice of life. No, no man. Actually, guys, uh, the first two gear ships came from one story, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, you first, Muna. The first one came from uh, when uh, Shirosaki, uh, Shirosaki came by to, uh, to, dine, uh, to actually dine in. Uh, the, uh, his biggest client, uh, which is Ramen Akaneko, yung, uh, the the, cent the, uh, the center uh, the centerpiece restaurant. No brainer there, folks, because he would say uh, by by at least Filipino standards, uh, you would uh, describe him as a uh, as a quintessential working student. Mantakin yun ba naman? Okay. Uh, middle school pa lang, uh, he's taking odd jobs na. He is, he is literally supporting himself, uh, literally paying himself through school. Uh, and his biggest client is Ramen Akaneko. Eh, halos lahat pala ng mga, ng mga, uh, lahat ng klaseng trabaho, trabaho, nagawa na pala niya for, uh, for this resto. From, uh, from plumbing and electrical work to uh, to even forging special special kitchen tools for these cats. He even designed uh, uh, yung banner sa yung banner na nakapaskil sa labas ng resto. Uh, siya pala may gawa nun. I hope Jen Alpha takes, note, takes a lot of notes from this character. You should follow this character's example. That's why I called it a gear shift. Okay? Uh, this character is uh, uh, is absolutely relatable, especially to uh, especially if you're uh, if you're his age, mga kasi uh, um, middle school right there, so mga 15, 16, 17 ito. You should be like Shirosaki. Se second gear ship, which also comes from the first story. This is actually uh, the gear ship that triggered the second story. Uh, suddenly, a woman. Uh, a woman named Yoko uh, called Hana Love PP. Another no-brainer, folks. Uh, because, uh, like I said a while ago, this is the gear ship that triggered the second story. Eh, may, may, may nakaraang buhay pala itong si Hana. She's a former idol. Uh, probably the most powerful gear ship of this episode. No doubt about it. Biggest gear ship of the third story was when Hana started uh, reminiscing about her idol days. So, why did I call this a gear ship? Simple lang, guys. Um, 
This is how comfortable Hannah is right now. Right after uh, she poured her heart out in the second story. So, una niyang nasabihan nito, uh, of course, uh, the, uh, the restaurant's resident groomer, si Tamako, eh, their only human employee. Eh, just to show you na, well, uh, Hannah has nothing to hide anymore. So, she might as well uh, open up Uh, open up to everybody. Pero ang uh, una siya nag-open up kay Tamako. Na, na isang tao pa. Hindi niya kalahi. Uh, you can say, character development gearship? Yup. 99%. Pero guys, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna ask you for the end time. Will it be enough for you to, to totally appreciate this episode just by... um? Uh, just by deep diving into these three gear shifts. Eh, yung unang dalawa sa isang so- sa unang story pa lang eh. Ah! Again, I am so sorry. It doesn't work that way. Watch the episode from start to finish. I assure you guys, you won't get bored with this episode because there are hard breaks in between stories. That's what those hard breaks are for. So, eh, you might as well watch it from start to finish and um, eh, maraming light-hearted moments dito na uh, talagang kapupulot pa niya noong aral na uh, I'm very sure uh, mapapatanggal sa stress ninyo well, uh, well I have okay uh, it, it totally uh, it totally made me made me, for, made me forget the stress I got all this week okay eh, if that's the um uh, If that's the episode, if that's this episode's true function, well, it did its job. Shut up now. Plot-wise, nag-isip eh, bladyado ang blood, guys. Tensya na. Uh, I'm into ASMR. Truly, okay, um, with all my heart and soul, this is a superbly ironed out plot. As far as I can remember, this is how um, this is how the OG multi-story plotted uh, animes uh, did. Yung mga talagang matatagal na uh, during, during those in the uh, those in, at least in the 70s and 80s. It's very nice to, uh, to, bring, to bring this kind of um, Uh, to bring this kind of multi-story format again. Okay? Uh, I never had a sleeper moment in this episode because there, there were definite um, hard breaks in each, uh, in between stories. Okay? Uh, talagang super planchado ang plot ng episode na to. And uh, well, if you're if you're totally new to this anime, you probably might No, might not notice it. Uh, but if you've been an anime fan for as long as I have, you will. Superbly ironed out plot, guys. You, you, you will get bored with this one. So pace, flow, and plot all came together. Um, this anime will be ending in two weeks. Uh, uh, I can't wait how this one wraps up. <laughs>